Well, hey y'all, welcome to my channel. For those of you returning, welcome back. And for those of you that are new, hello, my name is Erica. I'm a homeschooling homemaking mama of five. So we are gonna be cleaning up my double wide mobile home trailer, pre-manufactured house, whatever you wanna call it. This took place over about two days. I guess I've got in the habit of the last three weeks of cleaning um, like Thursday and Friday, giving my house a real good thorough cleaning. I'm not going to necessarily say deep cleaning, but it's it's when I spend most of my time doing, you know, doing my cleaning. My sheets and my covers need to wash just because it was about time. I don't, I like to wash them about twice a month to be realistic. I know that they're supposed to be, you know, your sheets are supposed to be washed every week, but y'all, I'm terrible with that. So two is good for me. Um, and usually I know it's time when I spill something on it, but I didn't spill anything on it. So my comforter probably needs washed a little bit more just because I let my animals sleep up on there. Uh, well, I let Lulu sleep up on there and Trixie gets up on there sometimes too. So, Obviously, y'all, judging by the lighting and my change of clothes, this happened over the, you know, the whole day. I mean, you guys know I'm not doing laundry that quick. I wish I was. I, one of the few things that I am really good about and... I, I'm not trying to be down on myself, but I'm I'm terrible at procrastinating, putting stuff off. But my sheets, I can normally wash my sheets in one day and then get them all onto my bed, you know, back on there. Like, I don't like letting them sit around in the, you know, washing machine or anything. I'm pretty good. I have an extra shet, shet. Oh gosh, that almost sounded like I was saying a potty word. An extra set, but that's just for absolute emergency. So I, I love this one. It's like the first nice set of sheets I've ever owned. I can't remember the thread count on it, but it was, it was good for me. And so anyway, that's what happened. That's why the screen's, you know, darker and then lighter. And as y'all can see, I went back to, that's in the morning. I cleaned off and on all day. So I've been working Sunday night into Monday night, and then I worked Tuesday night into Wednesday night so you know um, it's usually like the shift is is odd so I'm only working like you know 12 16 hours a week but they're overnight and I tell you what during the day I'm almost like useless I can make myself get up and do stuff but it's usually like the bare minimum like I will get up and do you know load the dishes up or maybe get a load of laundry started just kind of do a general tidy of the house but there is no like deep cleaning there's nothing big going on I'm not going to the grocery store you know I'm usually just sleeping and then just kind of doing whatever I can that involves me not moving from my couch so you know my husband and I've decided I, I do have a timeline I'm probably only going to try this job until about uh, March or April and then that's what I, I kind of plan to put my notice in and just come back to staying at home with my kids so So what I'm doing here is I am pre-rinsing my dishes. This pan I'm letting soak in Dawn degreaser because I cooked some fish on it. And I, just, I like the degreaser for like my pans and stuff. And I let it soak for probably about an hour. But I pre-rinsed my dishes and then I put them in my dishwasher. My dishwasher is great. This is just kind of a habit. And you know, every once in a while, if there's a piece of cheese or something on there, you all know it's not coming off unless you've got like a scraper. So some of my dishes I do wash by hand and I literally wash them by hand. I don't use a sponge or a rag or anything just because I'm terrible to let them soak. So I have a couple sponges floating around and most of the time they are literally floating around because I've just let them sit there. I just, I'm terrible y'all. I, I can't use them because they're gross and that's my own fault. I know a lot of people can spray bleach on them, throw them in the microwave, throw them in the dishwasher. And I just don't ever remember to do it. So I just use my hands. Um, may not be the best for them, but they're pretty rough from where I guess I waited tables for so long. And, you know, just being, you know, working with your hands and stuff, they get rough and you get used to it. So that is why, um, that's why I do it. It's not a special trick. It's not anything else. It's just simply because I can't be bothered to clean my sponges. I, now I do have, like y'all see, I've got little brushes and stuff that I use that I run through the dishwasher to clean, but those are just for like scraping and stuff and anything extra that I have that needs, you know, thoroughly clean. Yeah, you know, I mean, because to say I could scrape something off with my hands, that's a load of malarkey. Even my calluses aren't that tough. I did take my fake nails off, y'all. Uh, I miss them. I miss them already, but it's, I know I need to give my nails some time to regrow and come back. And I'm trying to kind of 
Um, my husband and I are really working on budgeting. It's a little late in our marriage. When I say late, I mean, I'm like almost 40 and this is something we should have done before. We're, we're doing fine and everything, but we're really just trying to be better stewards of just everything in general. So that was one of those things that um, I was gonna give up for a little bit until we got certain, you know, ducks in a row or whatever. Okay, so I got an Instapot and I am like having fun with it. I just don't really know what all to cook. I cooked rice, which that was the first thing. And then my husband used the air fryer part. And then I made rice pudding the other day and it turned out amazing. So now I've got to find some other recipes to look. I'm thinking about looking for like maybe a bread pudding recipe. This just has some homeschool stuff on it and then some arts and crafts that Joe was doing. He made this little fork. Uh, he called it Sporky or Forky or I can't remember what it was. It's from Toy Story. So that's what he wanted to do is this little arts and craft. You know, that's one of the things about homeschooling. Like it's really neat. And then sometimes it's really frustrating is like Joe's in kindergarten and he is my first child that I've actually homeschooled from the beginning. And, you know, I was starting to get a little concerned because I felt like he wasn't like, oh, there's his little forky. Um, he wasn't, I don't know, it just didn't feel like he was doing it quick enough. But then the other day, like we took, we took a break for, you know, for Christmas and stuff. We took about two weeks off and then we picked up his little books and man, he just started reading from the beginning to the end and it was just amazing like and you know I think that's probably the disadvantage of homeschooling too is your kids are always always different for you than they are for people outside of the house sometimes they're better sometimes they're worse in my case my kids are usually very well behaved when they're not at home so um on to what I'm doing back here I just spent 20 minutes in this back room I am taking everything off the wall I went and touched up the paint in here but I didn't show it on camera because there wasn't really anything spectacular. It just kind of felt like a waste of, of camera space. I was going to try and take this treadmill out and put it in the back room. And yeah, it did not, it wasn't even going to go through the doorway. So it, it's fine right here anyway. I don't know why I wanted to take it out so bad because I don't spend any time in this room. So it's really just fine where it is. But I did pull it out, you'll see, and I, you know, swept and mopped. That X, Joe and I were learning about personal space and trying to, you know, we were doing some PE type activities, I guess, and the X, that was his spot, and then I had, there was another one, so that's not having anything to do with, like, work to the house or whatnot. You know, it just dawned on me that I probably want to move that treadmill out of here so bad, so I don't have that physical reminder that I am not being physical enough that I need to do, you know, I need to get back into running or get back into walking. I just keep putting it off. Um, so I guess that's why I wanted, I didn't want to put it up or take it down because then I would have had to admit it that I don't want to run anymore, but nope. So yeah, I guess I'm going to need to, I need to really get back into that. I just, I just have it. I can give y'all a million good reasons why I have it, but they're not good enough. That's really what it boils down to. So this is the next day, I believe, and I'm just cleaning up my living room. Joe had built a fort in the corner, and that's what all those, you know, pillows and blankets and stuff were from. So I had him come in here and tidy up his stuff. Like I said, I do have him clean up after himself. He gets, um, he does pretty well with it, I have to say. I was really impressed. The other morning, we had some errands to run, and we had already done the school, and uh, he said, Mommy, I think I need to go spend a few minutes in my room. And honestly, I just figured he was going to go in there and watch TV or play with toys. But no, he he turned on his Alexa and just started tidying up his room. And I mean, he, he it wasn't it, it was great for six years old. Like he had done really well. He put his bed together, put some toys up and all that. So I was very pleased to say that he's been doing that on his own, which, of course, I know that's because I, I do try to make him pick up his own stuff. So maybe I'm, I'm trying to find what is age appropriate I had him take the trash out the other day I walked with him it was a really light bag and he was so like just proud of himself like just absolutely tickled and I guess maybe that's the trick to it is just making it seem like it's something fun so now he's been like mommy can I take the trash out mommy can I take the trash out can I help you mommy you know so um, I'm all for it I don't want him to be like obsessed with it but 
I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with kids feeling like they need to, you know, do their part either. So if I don't have to fuss at him for it, then that'll be fantastic. Now my son Michael's been taking the trash out, but like I said, he and his and Haley were gone this evening and then Joe went Friday to see, you know, to my mother-in-law's to meet up with them. Um, so that's why Joe helped me take it out, but Michael's been taking the trash out. And then, you know, of course my daughter, she's got her, her chores too. She takes, you know, 100% care of her cat, feeds him, does the litter box. You know, take all my kids to take care of their own rooms. Um, they clean their own bathroom. And then, I, you know, I have little chores here and there that are more part of the house. But And I do expect them to clean up after themselves. But for the most part, you know, I do stay at home three-fourths of the time. And 100% of the time I'm counting as like eight hours each day. I like think about it in terms of, well, if I, you know, I'm a full-time worker then I spend 12 hours at my actual job and then you know the rest of it's at home so that's kind of how I balance out my time so I assume that whatever's left is what I do you know is how much time I need to put into the actual working of the house it's really a good way for me to set boundaries because that's something I have to do with my own self and, and I mean you know of course other people you've got to set boundaries but like I have a tendency to overdo things or not do it enough so if I, I look at it as this way, I have a 40 hour work week, uh, 12 of those, like I said before, I spend at a, an actual job and then the rest of it, so I guess that would be 28 hours is spent at home. And you know, that's doing cleaning, cooking, doing the school stuff with the kids and all that. So that's kind of how I do the math in my head. And that way I know when to stop. I think that might be one of the hardest things about being a, you know, stay at home mom is you don't really have a start and an end to your day. Like you don't know when your work day ends because a lot of times it really doesn't. And then I'll, you know, I'll find myself sitting down and like playing Sims or fooling around on my phone or something and I feel guilty. And then it's like, but I don't realize that, you know, yeah, I, that might be right in the middle of the day, but I've also been up since seven and I've done school with the kids and I did dishes and I did laundry, but even still, I feel bad that I'm sitting at, you know, and I shouldn't, I should not feel bad because um, you take breaks when you go to your job, you know, if you leave your house. So that that's, it's a good way for me to set boundaries and also to, to hold myself accountable because I'll be the first to say there have been plenty times that I have taken advantage of being a stay at home mom and sat on my butt and done absolutely nothing. Um, so it, it works both ways for me. All right. So uh, as you guys can see, I am getting ready to mop. When I mop, I like to sweep and vacuum. Um, it is something that I just feel like that's the best way to get your coolers clean. I love my Dyson stick map, stick vacuum thing. Um, it is fantastic. I've had it now maybe three or four years, I think. Um, but it's absolutely great. Trixie does not like it, so that's what she's chasing. And as y'all saw, I bought Pine Saw. Um, it's growing on me. Um, it mainly, it is the best cleaner I have ever used for my floors. I, it really just makes that noticeable of a difference. So smell aside, I will definitely be using pine saw. I wanted to find lemon pine saw, but they were out at Sam's. So, you know, it is what it is. Of course, y'all, though, I waited to mop right before we had a whole bunch of rain and snow, and now there's literally, like, paw prints and footprints all through my house, but, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I got a head start, right? It won't be near as bad the next time. So, I had uh, vacuumed and swept in here. I think I swept the day before, so that's why you didn't see it, um, but like I said, just, just going over all this, giving it a good clean. All right, y'all, this is third time doing this. This is my Sam's haul. I don't go to Sam's very much anymore just because I'm starting to find their prices aren't as good on some of this stuff. But this is the reason I go there. Their dog food, it's the best price I have found for everywhere. I think it's like $51.96 for 44 pounds. Um, and this is the stuff that my two big dogs eat. 
Um, then they had like those coupons or whatever, their instant savings. Y'all never mind, I had to take my fake nails off. I'm trying to go without for a little bit. Um, it was like $14.96, I think, for 18 bars, which is a great deal. My husband likes these. Joe wants his Lunchables, um, and they had a good price on it. I think it was $8 for six of them. He wants them every time we go to Kroger, but they're like $3 at Kroger, and I could probably, I know I could make them a lot cheaper, but, you know, of course, he wants Lunchables, so when I go to Sam's, I pick these up for him. I don't go there just for these, but like I said, when I go. Um, I got this lettuce mix because it was $1.98. I got this to go on top of it. This was not on sale, but it is like my favorite topping. I love the combination of this. And it was like $9. And then y'all, I had to do the pine saw, I have to say. Um, now that I've used it for about a week, the smell is not bothering me near as bad. I definitely don't love it, but it cleans so well. I wanted to get the lemon, um, y'all recommend, um, Yvonne recommended the lemon to me and they didn't have it there. So I had to just settle for this and I've been trying not to stock up on like cleaning supplies, but I found that this is something that's probably going to go pretty quickly, especially since I'm not supposed to be doing concentrated this, like I'm just supposed to be filling it up straight from here. So I figure I'll go through it a lot quicker than I used to. Um, but yeah, y'all, y'all were right. This stuff, it cleans. It's fantastic. And then Cambria was saying that when you clean with this, it, it's like naturally deters, um, insects and stuff. I don't really have a problem with bugs right now, but that's, that's still good to know. But yeah, I'm getting ready to clean my floors with this. So, um, oh, this was $13.98. So I was finding that for one of these containers, it was $9 at Walmart. That was like the cheapest I could find. And for $13 or $14 for two of them. That was obviously a much, much better deal. So I don't feel bad that I bought two big containers of it. So like I said, I'm, I'm in general trying not to hoard stuff anymore, but there are some things I might, might make an exception. Okay. So I'm sure the next will be my Kroger haul. All right, y'all. Here is my weekly grocery Kroger haul. I really didn't, I kind I didn't want to spend more than a hundred um, but I did, and that was okay because uh, my, all of my kids are gone for the weekend. And so my husband and I got some, instead of going out to eat, we got some steaks and some ice cream and a little bit of junk food. Um, so that's why I was, I was okay with what it was. Um, so I spent $110.21. I saved $31.22 in coupons. It's also the fuel day Friday where you get four times the uh, fuel points. So I have, I got 408 fuel points today and I have a total of 711, which if you don't know how Kroger works, that means that's 70 cents off a gallon of gas, um, which you guys, it, it really helps. Last month, I think I had over a thousand points. Actually, I had over 2000 points. Um, so, you know, that was a dollar off. You can only go up to a dollar, but you can, you still get to keep your other points. Um, so what I got, um, I got Homestyle Waffles. These were $3.29. I think they ended up coming out to like $2.49. Um, I got a, you know, I get 10% off. I had to get a sugar-free Red Bull. I was perfectly fine before I went to the grocery store. And I guess this is how my ADHD works. Um, I went and met my mother-in-law to, uh, she picked up my youngest son, because like I said, she was taking the kids for the weekend. So I drove about an hour up there to meet her. And then I went to the grocery store and everything was fine. But I guess I just get so overstimulated that I it, it wears me out. And now I'm pooped. Um, Kroger microwave popcorn. I meant to get it at Sam's, which is where I normally get it. But I forgot what I did my Sam's order. So this was like $8.99 after my discount. Um, yeah, but that's what the Red Bull is about, sugar free Red Bull. I'm not been drinking them near as much. Texas toast, that's gonna go with dinner tonight. Um, ground beef, it was on sale for $9.99. I got a dollar off for my discount, and then I got a dollar ten off with a coupon. Um, some Rocky Road ice cream, some mint chocolate chip ice cream. These were on sale for $2.49, plus I got 40 cents off, plus I have my discount. Um this was marked down to $1.58. Um, do y'all have kids that just eat bread? Like, just eat it for fun. Um, one of my kids in particular will eat bread. 
and I caught them eating almost half a loaf of bread. Um, so, and my first thought was, I'm just not going to buy any bread, but I was like, well, no, we'll just uh, start getting, you know, if they're going to eat it, then it'll be the healthy kind, which this isn't necessarily the healthy kind. I don't really know if there really is any healthy bread, but it was sugar-free, 100% whole wheat. So, we'll see if they still like bread after that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be hateful. I just, uh, it is not healthy for anyone to eat half a loaf of bread is what I'm saying. Okay. These are on sale for $2.29. If you got four, I think, I hope it was four. Um, I have, I love the cheddar and sour cream. Have you guys had the one? I think it's with LeBron James where it's like the spicy ones. Oh my gosh. They're so good. I didn't see any of them. Oh my gosh, cat. No. Oh, my cat is thinking. Um, I got these because I like really crunchy chips. I got these because I've never seen them, and I got these for my husband. So these were for no other reason than we can eat them with food this week. Um, Soppy Joe's, because that's what Joe wanted, so that'll go with half of that ground beef this week. Um, this goes for the Soppy Joe's. The French fries, that'll go with Soppy Joe's as well, and for the, with the steaks. Baby carrots, we love to eat these as a snack. Um, y'all, I got a six pack of ciders for me and my husband to split. It's just a mixture. Um, we are not drinkers. This is a literally like once a year, once every six months type of deal. Um, I'm not advertising it or supporting it or anything or knocking it, but I'm not going to also, I'm not going to, I don't, y'all know, I don't like to hide stuff or, and just, it is who I am. But anyway, that's what that is over there. That took up, that was like $11, um, so that, that's where a lot of the extra went, uh, which it really wasn't that bad. Y'all know I spend about 150 normally on my groceries a week. So I still spent less than what I normally do. Um, even though I didn't love this, I, I thought I did. And then I turned to, I don't know what's up with my taste buds. It was on sale for $6.99. Plus I got 69 cents off. Um, did I show you guys these already? If not, well, we'll see them again. My husband and I love thin, thin steaks. Um, I love the thin ribeyes, but you can hardly ever find them. We used to find them when we lived about an hour away where my in-laws live um, at this local butcher shop. They were real thin ribeyes. I haven't seen them again anywhere else except Walmart, and it's always in a blue moon. Um, yeah, I know they're terrible, but my kids like to eat them. My husband takes them in his lunch. Sometimes you just, you know what, you just got to eat junk. Again. Well, you don't have to eat junk, but that's what that is. Um, these were 40 cents each, and then I had 40 cents off of five. Y'all know I love my Carb Master yogurts. Joe likes these too. I don't really like for him to eat them, only because I, I know kids aren't supposed to eat the sugar-free and the low-carb and all that stuff, which probably means adults aren't supposed to either. I don't know why I'm being so hard on my grocery. Um, okay, so these were on sale, plus they were buy two, get one free, plus I had a dollar off coupon if you bought two or more. Um, Honeycrisp apples. That is everyone's favorite apple in this house. These were $7.99. Then I got 79 cents off. Then I had a dollar off. So they ended up being like $5. Is that, is that right? I don't know, y'all. My math just went out the door. Um, and then Jeremy really likes these tuna packets to take to work. So, yeah. I feel like there was more. But, yeah, that's what $110 looks like. At, oh, my pickles. Forgot my pickles. I've been wanting pickles, and y'all know that I love double spit. We all love double spit here. Um, that's the barbecue sauce that I use, um, and they had pickles. So I got those. Those were $4.99. I just was wanting pickles. I've been craving salt real bad lately, um, so I probably need to talk to my doctor about that. But anyway, I want pickles. So it's $110 at Kroger. So y'all know if I'm full clothes that we are coming to the end of this video. And if you notice my load is not as big as it normally is. I have done better. Um, I Not necessarily on purpose. I've just been getting to my clothes a little bit quicker. So yay me for whatever reason that, that was, you know, I did that. But that which reminds me I probably need to do a load of laundry right now too. <laughs>
I hope everyone's had like a marvelous weekend and a great beginning of the week. Like I keep forgetting that I'm only doing one video now. So like I'm trying to get, make sure like my video is completely done like ahead of time. So, you know, once I start going to work on Monday and Wednesday, but you know, everything's ready to go. But Jeremy and I, we, you know, it's currently, well, it's not currently, but when I did this voiceover, it was Saturday. Uh, we had a weekend without the kids and of course, you know how stuff goes. We were both super tired last night, and then today we ended up, we woke up and there was a leak on our roof, so Jeremy is like on top of the roof right now trying to fix it, um, and you know, we had some a few errands to run, but it's just nice being in a, in a clean house, and it's quiet, and it's just, it's real relaxing, so I have to say I'm enjoying it quite a bit. He had to go this morning. Um, he's coaching basketball at our church. Our church has this, uh, they put together a basketball league for the local kids and stuff. And Jeremy's coaching and Joe's on his team. And I asked Joe the other day, I said, Joe, I said, you start basketball next week. He's like, I know, mommy. I said, well, do you know who your coach is? He said, uh, yes, mommy, it's Jeremy. <laughs> Which y'all know, he, he doesn't call Jeremy by his first name. He just, I guess, because his daddy's his coach, he thinks he's got to call him Jeremy. So it was, it was super cute. But uh, I'm excited for Joe to do that. So, well, I guess this is just about the end of the video. So y'all see, I'm folding my clothes. We hang most of our stuff. Uh, so that's something I should be working on here again soon is going back into my closet, which I've been doing real well to kind of as I go get rid of things um, and the most important thing is is that I'm not bringing anything new into the house that is a big goal this year is to just continue the progress from last year which is not to bring stuff in and to bring stuff out and to, what I am keeping to make sure that I'm taking care of it so my closet is something we will probably be revisiting here soon and probably more on the back room next week as well um, I'm just kind of slowly taking my time and making sure it sticks but again I treat my house like weight loss the longer it takes the longer it'll stay clean is what I'm kind of viewing so anyway I hope wherever y'all are at you are having a blessed one thank you guys so much again for taking the time out of your day to watch my video um, I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next one bye